My name is Mark Ben Barker and my company is Mary G Enterprises. Basically, Mary G Enterprises <coughs> engages in theatre, in music, in touring, um, events management, cross-cultural awareness, television, radio, you know, the whole gamut of media and, and the arts. Mary G is a feisty, matriarch-type character. It's showtime! <laughs> Regardless what culture you come from, you always have the one auntie or grandmother that's the matriarch in the family. And um, she has this um, power to inform you, um, and whilst informing you and educating you, to make you smile and, and laugh and feel good about yourself as well. Mary G came about by pure accident. Um, I did voluntary radio for a long time. One night got bored and started talking in this woman's voice, you know, and uh, started asking personal questions of myself on radio and the community was going, who's this woman talking to Mark? She can't talk to Mark like that. So it grew from there and it grew to a degree that it then required a visual experience of Mary G. And I went, oh my God, what have I created? But then I thought, no, I'll give it a go. I'll just, I'll have a crack at it. And if I do this, I've got to do it with sincerity and respect for Aboriginal women, or women in general. And I've got to come across, um, not as a gimmick, but as a genuine character. And uh, since then, she's recorded two albums and two of the country, The Length and Breath. So he made man and left me something, men, men, men. <laughs> we did um, two lots of TV series um, uh, with SBS TV. And she's done a hell of a lot of um, social and emotional well-being work um, in isolated communities. The time is right for Australia to look at itself and go, who are we in the world? Because we're made up of all these other cultures. We're made up of all these other languages and the diversity that comes to Australia from all over the world, that Mary G can be the uh, a contributing factor in, a, in her small way, I guess, to be able to assist Australia to look at itself and reanalyze who we are at this moment in time where do we want to be in, a, in 50 years' time? And where do Indigenous Australia fit in here? It's at the point in my life now where I realise I need an industry manager, uh, a CEO, because the uh, compromise that's happening for me at the moment is trying to run a business and trying to be creative. And they, they, they just don't work, because uh, one drains the other. If you believe in yourself and you have something, you know, whether you're a, did you redo performer or architect or you've got some great skills, believe in yourself and take the plunge. It's been a hard, tough journey, but a personal self-rewarding journey. The profit to me will be that I make a difference to another Aboriginal artist. And not only Aboriginal artists, but there's some great young non-Indigenous kids out there that I know are struggling and I can turn around and make a difference in their life. When, you, when you're able to touch other human beings with what you've gained, to me, that's the greatest profit. <laughs>